Hi, my name is Dr. Lori Cayley. I am a functional medicine practitioner and I work with women who have thyroid problems, specifically hypothyroidism in Hashimoto's. <clears throat> Today I would like to talk about how estrogen dominance will cause Hashimoto's. And what will happen is if your hormones um, get out of balance and estrogen gets too high, then it can um, set off an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's. So some symptoms of um, estrogen dominance are PMS, fibroids, endometriosis, ovarian cysts, breast lumps, breast cancer, thyroid nodules, thyroid cancer, um, ovarian cancer, infertility, miscarriages, um, water retention, cellulite mood swings, um, breast tenderness, um, heavy periods, hair loss, and headaches. So um, the way that you will get estrogen dominance, it can be caused by several things like stress or poor diet. Um, some medications can cause it, um, inadequate liver function, or exposure to xenoestrogens, which are um, estrogen-like compounds that they mimic estrogen and they are found in things like skincare products, cleansers, um, and certain packaging. So what will happen is the estrogen will bind to the thyroid globulin um, in your body which transports the thyroid hormone and um, you won't have enough three free thyroid hormone circulating in your body. <clears throat> so if you suspect that you may have high estrogen levels, you can always get them checked. Um, <clears throat> it's best to do that with a functional medicine practitioner who um, really understands thyroid issues and Hashimoto's. Um, there are certain tests that we can do, um, functional medicine testing which is a little bit better, um, more accurate than testing hormones in the blood. Um, blood hormones only will show you what the bound hormone is, not what free hormones are available in your body. So I prefer to use um, functional medicine, either saliva or urine testing, to determine if um, hormones are out of balance. So what can you do if you do think that you have estrogen dominance? Well, you want to eat clean. You want to eat um, organic, grass-fed meats, organic fruits and vegetables. Um, eat a diet that doesn't have processed foods. You want to make sure that you're filtering your water with a really good water filter that is getting out just about everything that you can get out, especially fluoride and other chemicals that um, are commonly found in water. Use non-toxic body products. Find organic body products. This is um, such a big way that we are putting um, xenoestrogens in our body by just absorbing them using um, products that have a lot of chemicals. And you want to get rid of plastics. Don't use plastics for storing your food, use glass, and um, you want to reduce your exposure to stress. And a lot of times women will come to me and tell me that they just can't lose weight because um, they have a thyroid problem and they're only given medication by their doctor, which really doesn't help the problem. It's only helping to normalize TSH levels. Um, in the blood work, so um, they come to me to get to the root cause of the problem. And um, oftentimes, and this happened to me myself, I had um, high estrogen dominance because I tried bioidentical hormones for a month and it raised my estrogen levels so high, my body rejected them, it caused me to have an autoimmune reaction caused me to um, have Hashimoto's and I gained like 25 pounds in about a month. And it took me a really long time to figure out what was going on and how to fix it. So I 
um, had to detox estrogen, all of the estrogen that I had put in my body from those bioidentical hormones, I had to detox. So I have gone through all of this and I know how to do it and I can help women lose weight by balancing their hormones. So some of the things that I suggest um, my clients do is take a supplement called DIM. Um, it is a, comes from cruciferous vegetables and it helps you to detox estrogen from your body. And you wanna take that with calcium d glucuronate, NAC, milk thistle, and alpha lipoic acid. So if you are looking for help um, because you think you may have estrogen dominance and it may be causing you to um, not be able to lose weight and keep your Hashimoto's and your thyroid um, antibodies high, then um, please get into contact with me. You can message me, go to my website. My website is www.drlorikaylee.com, www.drlorikaylee.com. I hope you all have a great day.